Hello and welcome to DDR's YouTube channel. In this one, we're going to take a look at some updates from the Uttam ASA radar program. Uttam is an indigenous airborne ASA fire control radar for the LCA Tejas aircraft. It is currently undergoing testing in Bengaluru. The radar, being developed by LRDE, is one of the two main components that are still left in the LCA program, the other one being the engine. A prototype of the radar was initially integrated on a business jet. This platform was used to put the radar through its paces. Flight testing of the radar is expected to be complete by the end of June and a fully production-worthy radar is expected to be ready by the end of 2021. Airborne fire control radars operate in multiple modes, air-to-air, -air, air-to-ground, air-to-sea, weather, etc. These modes were successfully shown on the business jet, following which the ASA radar was then integrated onto an LCA aircraft, the LSP-2, for further flight testing. The LSP-2, being a fighter class platform, is capable of higher speed and maneuverability that a business jet isn't. It is being flown by pilots from the National Flight Test Center against target aircraft flown by pilots from the IAF's ASTE. So far, air-to-air -air modes of the radar have been validated on the LSP-2. This constitutes nearly 70-80% to 80 of the total flight testing that the radar has to undergo. Now, air-to-ground and air-to-sea modes are left, which will be done in the near future. New algorithms have been used in the radar that have so far not been published anywhere, and apparently they are showing phenomenal results during flight testing. Air-to-ground modes usually include synthetic aperture radar, air-to-ground ranging for bomb deliveries, ground-moving target tracking and indication. These have already been successfully proven on the business jet as well as on the AEWNC Netra radar that is currently in IAF service. Initially, there were a few hiccups with high ground clutter, but those have been solved. Air-to-sea modes such as range signature and inverse SAR will also need to be proven. These modes have already been proven on a Dornier testbed. Automatic identification system has been integrated in the radar. This is used for tracking ships, similar to how ADSB is used for tracking aircraft. Electronic Counter Countermeasures ECCM, features of the radar will be tested at an electronic warfare range in Gwalior. High digitization in the radar has given it a great capability to resist jamming. Defense Avionics Research Establishment DARE, another DRDO lab which develops radar warning receivers, jammers, etc., is currently developing a self-protection suit for the LCA. DARE and LRDE, which is developing the ASA radar Uttam, are working in close conjunction so that the two can work together. Highly integrated working of the radar, radar warning receiver, and a jammer is of utmost importance so that neither interferes with the working of the other and they can function in unison. This combination is expected to give a better performance than a combination of the Uttam with a third-party jammer pod. Coming to the indigenous content in the radar, the antennas, liquid cooling system, exciter receiver are entirely indigenous. Field programmable gate arrays FPGAs, as well as processor board are currently being imported. Lack of a domestic ecosystem to produce electronics is a severe issue that is plaguing not just defense but even the space sector. However, gallium arsenide and gallium nitride components needed for the radar are being produced at GATEC in Hyderabad. Coming to the AMCA Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, the preliminary design review for the radar is now complete. The radar design has also been frozen and it will utilize gallium nitride technology and is expected to produce nearly twice the performance of the Uttam ASA radar. LCA Mark II or the medium weight fighter is likely to be equipped with a gallium arsenide radar. It might be converted to a gallium nitride based radar in the future. Gallium nitride radars have greater overall efficiency as well as a lower cooling requirement, leading to overall better performance. Also, as part of the Su-30 MKI upgrade program, it has been proposed to upgrade the BARS radar on the fighter with a scaled version of the Uttam. Studies have already been done to assess the feasibility of such a program. Onboard electrical power availability as well as cooling availability have been studied. A new scale radar in place of the current radar could perform more than twice as better as the current one. This is important to note given that the IAF will soon field extended range BVR air-to-air -air missiles such as the Astra Mark II 
as well as the meteor and in the future an sfdr propulsion based air to air missile development come production partners have also been identified who will contribute towards scaling the radar and perform further development in partnership with the lead system integrator for many indian air force fighter aircraft this will be hindustan aeronautics it has also been proposed to upgrade the radars on the Indian Air Force MiG-29 as well as the Indian Navy's MiG-29K fighters. DRDO will acquire an Airbus A319 class aircraft to act as a flying test bed. It has also been proposed to field indigenous radars for the Naval Utility Helicopter Program for which the Indian Navy has floated a tender as well as HAL's under development Indian Multirole Helicopter. Please like and subscribe to this channel and do follow us on social media. Links given below in the description.